By the end of this video, you will know how to make a basic A-line skirt pattern from start to finish in clothes. You can apply this pattern drafting method onto hand drafting pattern as well as onto cloth drafting. For example, I'm going to use cloth software to draft these skirt patterns. You will not require to know cloth software to learn this simple drafting method. I will walk you through step by step on how to draft these A-line skirt patterns. These include measuring your body, picking the correct avatar size for your skirt, sewing it in clothes, fitting the skirt onto the avatar, then apply the fabrics onto the skirt all done in clothes. So next, we are going to sew the invisible zipper onto the skirt. So to sew the invisible zipper onto the skirt, I'm going to come over here to material, click on it, and then come over here to zipper, and then hover the mouse to the right, and then select zipper. After that, I'm going to come down here, and then click one on the skirt pattern to start the zipper. And I'm going to click toy to finish the zipper. And I'm going to do the same on this side over here. Click one to start and then click toy to end the zipper. After that, I'm going to press on the space bar to simulate. So as you can see, we just sew the zipper onto the skirt. However, the zipper is not invisible zipper. So we're going to change the zipper to the invisible zipper. To do so, I'm going to come over here and click on the simulation function to turn it off. And next, I'm going to click on the select slash move tool. And as you can see, the zipper is selected by default. If your zipper isn't selected, just come over here to the select slash move tool, click on it to select, then come over here, click one on the zipper to select, and after that, come over here to this property editor, and then I'm going to slide down to the zipper width right here, and I'm going to change it to 0.1. And then I'm going to click one on the page to confirm and after that, I'm going to press down the space bar to simulate once again. And as you can see, the zipper looks much better already. However, you need to change the zipper pull as well as the zipper end. To do that, I'm going to come back over here, click on the simulation function to turn it off. And then I'm going to select on the select slash move tool. And I'm going to click on the zipper pull. After that, I'm going to come over here to this property editor and I'm going to once again guys so under shape and this slider here I'm going to hover the mouse over the twirling arrow click on it and then I'm going to select this invisible zipper and next I'm going to come to this puller and click on this twirling arrow next to the zipper pull and then I'm going to select the invisible zipper pull so this one is perfect as you can see we just changed the zipper slider and the zipper pull to the invisible zipper next I'm going to come over here you see this stopper instead of open in I'm going to click on this twirling arrow right here and then select close in and I'm going to change, you see the bottom here, I'm going to change from this big piece to this small piece bottom, okay? After that, I'm going to zoom out just a little bit. It looks much better already. So next, I'm going to click one on the page to release Okay, perfect. 
So after we sewn the zipper onto the skirt, next I'm going to change the color of the zipper to match the skirt. So to do so, I'm going to first come over here to this transform tool, click on one to select, then my key selects all these skirt pattern pieces and then right click and select unstrengthen. After that, I'm going to click one on the page to release. Next, I'm going to apply the fabric onto the skirt. To apply the fabric onto the skirt, I'm going to come over here to the library window. Then I'm going to double click on the fabric folder to open. After that, I'm going to come down here to this search bar and I'm going to type in denim. And then I'm going to press return or enter on the keyboard to confirm the search. Next, there are several denim fabric appear. And you can either click and then drag that fabric onto these pattern pieces one by one or you can click and then drag that into this object browser window to place your fabric and then you can my key selects all that pattern pieces and come over here to the right and select on the download arrow next to the fabric that you want to apply to. In that way, you can apply the fabric onto all your pattern pieces at one, okay? Next, I'm going to click one on the workspace to release. To change the zipper color, I'm going to come over here to this select slash move tool, click on it. Then I'm going to come over here and click one on the zipper to select. Next, I'm going to come over here to this property editor and I'm going to slide down here to the color and I'm going to click on that color swatch to bring this color window. Next, I'm going to click one on this eyedropper and I'm going to click one on the fabric to get the color from the fabric. Okay, after that, I'm going to press down escape key on the keyboard to, to get out of the eyedropper and I'm going to click OK to confirm. Next, I'm going to select on the zipper pull and I'm going to come over here once again and then come down to the color swatch and I'm going to click on that color swatch and this bring this color window and I'm going to click on the eyedropper once again and click on anywhere on the fabric to change the zipper pull to. Next, I'm going to press down the escape key on the keyboard and click on OK to confirm. And I'm going to click one on the page to release. As you can see, we just changed the zipper pull and the zipper to somewhat close to a skirt color. Let me zoom out, okay? After that, I'm going to just rotate her to the front. Command or Control on your keyboard, right click. Looks like we have perfect A-line skirt. Next, I'm going to come over here to this avatar icon and I want to hide the avatar. Just click on this avatar icon to hide her. And I'm going to just kind of press down command or control and then right click. I want to uh, kind of tilt the skirt down forward just a little bit. Next, I'm going to create the facing for the skirt waistband. 